Hello and welcome back to the top 85 games for the BBC Micro Video Countdown. In at number 70, this needs no introduction, especially if you will recognise those tones from the intro music, it's Predator. So this game was uh, released for the BBC Micro in 1989. Uh, it was based on the 1987 release from Activision, which came out for a number of different platforms, including the Amiga, the Amstrad CPC and the Atari. Um, the BBC edition came out in 1989. Uh, it was ported across by Peter Scott and it was done under the auspices of Superior Software and Acorn Soft. So I don't need to tell you that this was obviously based on the 1987 movie Predator starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, there's a nice uh, bit of uh, poster art there from Rich Davis. Uh, this, uh, this was obviously a famous movie. It spawned many sequels and spin-offs uh, since the uh, original 1987 classic. Um, but in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the BBC Micro game. So stay tuned. All right, so... Let's get started. Here we are, Superior Software and Aconsoft presents Predator. So this is a side-scrolling shooter, uh, sometimes referred to as a run-and-gun game. Uh, we've got some instructions here, which I'm just going to skip through, and let's get straight into the game. Here we are, so it's the typical ZX, asterisk, question mark uh, style uh, commands. We've got return there for firing and we can also uh, optionally throw a grenade. I think we get three of those. And this game also features the ability to uh, change your weapon. So you can you can pick up and drop weapons as you move through the game. Now I think that possibly counts as one of the finest bits of splash green art that I've ever seen for the Beeb. I remember when I first loaded this up um, I was amazed. Uh, so here we go, uh, we're into Predator, we've got a nice sort of scrolling intro there showing us the layout of the jungle that we're going to be making our way through, so let's hit space to start. Here we are, here's Arnie, so we can move him up and down, um, I can make him jump if I, uh, if I do that. Oh, here we are, here we are, that's our commandos there attacking us. Oh, and the birds, oh no, oh dear, oh my goodness. Oh, let's get rid of those, oof. So you can see my health bar at the top there. Those three, uh, well, there's only two now. Chunky blocks uh, represent my lives. Ooh, now here we go. We can change our weapon here. Let's do that. Yes, the chunky blocks represent our lives and the little blocks um, are the sort of energy within a life. So uh, we have to be careful not to, not to lose out on our uh, lives too quickly there. Okay, making our way along. So, I mean, graphically speaking, you've got to admit this is this is pretty awesome. Um, very, very good graphics for this game. Um, got some. Oh dear. Oh wow, that's quite a. It's <laughs> quite a violent death actually. There, he's all squished into jam. Um, yeah, so it, it plays it plays pretty smoothly. Uh, it's pretty pretty uh, pretty decent in terms of moving along. But as we will see, um, it is phenomenally difficult to play. Not so much because of the gameplay itself, but just because of how easy it is to die. Um, oh, here we go. Here's the Predator. And that's me dead. <laughs> nice little cheery jingle there. So, yes, I mean, it, it, it's a good game. But, I mean, the main reason I've brought it in at number 70 is just it is so hard to actually make any progress in it. Um, apparently, it takes four levels before you actually sort of get a showdown with uh, the Predator itself. But... I don't mind telling you, I have never, ever made it uh, past uh, all four levels and certainly never got to the showdown with the Predator. Uh, the closest I get to the Predator is when the game suddenly goes into Predator mode and it just kills you. Um, and I'm not even sure how you're supposed to avoid that happening because it, it, it feels like even if you try and evade the, uh, the, the, heat, si the heat site, it just kills you. Um, and you lose a life instantly. So obviously, if you, given that you've only got three to start off with, um, it, it really is quite hard work to... Oh, and these birds are really quite, quite annoying. Uh, look at that. I mean, they just wipe you out. Um, so yeah, the combination of things like the sort of wave of birds that just sort of wipe you out in one go, um, these chaps popping out of the ground. I mean, it, it, it's a pretty relentless game. And yeah, it's... Oh, there we go. Look, there's another life gone. Well, down to my last life already, and still on only on the first level. So, um, yeah, in my practice run-throughs, I think I managed to get to the end of the first level. Oh, here we go, Predator's back. Oh, God. Uh, oh, oh, there you go. I actually managed to... Uh, oh, hang on. 
Oh, I oh, look at that. I've run out of ammunition and I walked past that gun. Oh, no. Now all I've got is punch, which is really not going to help if those birds show up. I know that. Oh, dear me. Yeah, so, I mean, it's, 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 it, I have a sort of quite love-hate relationship. It's one of those games where I really want to like it because it's got so much in it, you know, so much going for it. I mean, first of all, it's based on a movie that I love. Um, it's brilliant from a graphics... Oh, there you go, I'm dead again. Yeah, brilliant from a graphics point of view. Um, you know, it, it's very well put together. You know, great work by Peter Scott porting this across to the Beeb. But it's just very frustrating because it's so hard to uh, to make any progress at all. Um, you know, I, I think this video is mainly going to consist of me trying to... Oh, my goodness, get past the foot... Look, look at that. I mean, that those wave of birds, that's two lives down already. Um, now, I mean, I, I, I welcome comments below from anyone that's uh, ever made, uh, you know, better progress than me through this game. But I know when this game has come up um, in uh, the, uh, the the Twitter feed in the past, uh, where people have, have mentioned it, in, you know, or posted screenshots of it, almost invariably the responses I've seen of, oh, wow, yeah, great game, but really difficult. And, I mean, it is. And I, I feel like it's it's almost, it's difficult without almost needing to be quite so difficult. I, I feel that the, um, you know, that, the, oh my goodness, given how much of an onslaught there is in the game and how, how easy, oh my goodness, <laughs> it's just so easy to die. Um, and I think, you know, going back to when I played this as a child, I really did have a hard time with it, and I ultimately didn't really play it very much. I mean, I you know after 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 I after I got it, you know I obviously was very excited because um, I don't actually think I'd seen the film. I mean, bearing in mind that this came out in 1989, the film came out in 87. I was born in 83, so I mean, I, you know, I, I'm pretty certain I hadn't seen the film at the time that I uh, first played the game. Oh my, and and it's. it's one of those things I often wonder about, actually, about certainly games in the 80s, you know, based on films like Robocop, Alien, and um, Predator. I mean, they were obviously games that were primarily aimed at children like myself, but they were <laughs> based on based on films that children really shouldn't have uh, shouldn't shouldn't have been seeing because um, obviously, oh, oh, those birds again. Um, yeah, ba based on a, an 18 rated movie, um, it certainly shouldn't have been uh, something that uh, children like myself had ever seen. But nevertheless, you know, uh, the game the game uh, was something I had, and I can remember when my uh, when my dad got it for me. Um, yeah, I hope you're enjoying this, by the way. I'm, I'm still not managing to get past the first level. Uh, yeah, I can remember my uh, when my dad got it. You know, I was really excited, and especially when that cover when that not cover the uh, splash screen came up. I remember thinking, "Wow, this is." You know, in common with uh, ballistics, which we looked at previously, you know, I can remember thinking, "Gosh, you know, this is going to be a great game," and on first inspection it does feel like a good one you know it's 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 sort of in the same sort of league as games like um strikers run you know um which by the way we will be looking at in this series fear not um but i feel that you know where a strikers run is also quite 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 hard work to complete it is possible to complete it whereas this game um i would really be interested to hear from anyone that's managed to get through it I'd also be interested to know if it's as fiendishly difficult as this um, on on other platforms. I don't know if it's the the Beeb version of it that uh, is particularly difficult. Um, I don't think it can be to do with it being for the BBC. I mean, the game's very responsive, um, but yeah, I, I just feel like, given the uh, number of w ways in which it's easy to die, I feel like it could have been a little bit more generous on the health bar front, um, or, you know, possibly a few more lives at least, because, yeah. Uh, oh no, here we go again. Ah, oh, and there's, that's, that's it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, what, what a, what a frustrating game it is. Um, as I said before, you know, I really do want to like it, and I would love to have brought this in at a higher level in the rankings, I really would, um, because I mean, you know, you'll appreciate from some of the games that we look at after this that, you know, graphically speaking, there's certainly not not a patch on 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 Predator, but ultimately for me, uh, particularly with retro games, it it really does come down to the, the playability of the game, and you know, with a game like this, it looks great, um, you know, it it's got a lot going for it, but ultimately. It's so difficult to actually make any progress uh, that, in the end, 
it, it ends up not being a particularly enjoyable game because you just get constantly frustrated uh, that you can't get anywhere close to... I mean, I haven't even managed to get past the, the... Oh, my goodness. I haven't even managed to get past the first level. And I'm not sure if I, if I really will in this video, I have to say. Now, I appreciate, you know, I'm, I'm certainly not the world's best gamer and I, I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't pretend that I, that I was, but... You know, to get good at a game, you you need to you need to I think feel like you're making a certain amount of progress with it. You know, and there have been other games we've looked at in the series so far, like Karate Combat, for example, which again is a very difficult game to progress in. But um, I think Predator, possibly in common with Karate Combat, is one of those games where I can't, I can't get my new gun. There we are. Um, it's one of those games where because it's so difficult, it almost puts you off wanting to invest the effort to get better at it. You know, there are other games um, that we'll be looking at in this series where, yes, they're difficult, no question about it, uh, but you get a certain sense of accomplishment, uh, a certain sense of progress at least, um, which sort of spurs you on and makes you want to, uh, you know, get on to, to the next level and, and, you know, where you do end up uh, failing. You, you feel like, yeah, okay, I know what I need to do to get past that, um, but with Predator, I mean, who knows? I mean, especially when the Predator itself turns up. Oh, I've run out of bullets now. Especially when the Predator itself turns up. What are you supposed to do? You know, it's, 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 I just don't know. <laughs> oh, no. <sighs> See, I mean, at, at that point, really, what, what, what's the expectation there? Because it doesn't, it doesn't feel like you can, oh, I'm just wasting grenades at this point. <laughs> no, I don't want that gun. I want this one. No. Nope. Yes, that's it. Um, yeah, it does, it just sort of feels like, well, you know, as soon as the, the the jungle goes dark like that, what 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 am I meant to do? Um, because the, you know, it it just follows you around, and then even if you try and move out of the way, it gets you. And uh, obviously, un unlike the game, uh, there's no mud available to cover yourself up from the from the heat signature. So uh, yeah, here we are. Well, I think we'll give it maybe a couple more tries, but. I'm not optimistic that I'm going to get past this first level. Um, as I say, I, I know I've definitely completed at least one level before, because I can remember completing the, the level and feeling, oh great, at least I got to level two, and then instantly the Predator showed up and I died. <laughs> so um, it was a, a short-lived victory in the, on that occasion. Um, but yes, um, as I say, I really would be interested to hear from anybody that uh, perhaps has a greater a greater love for this game than me, because um, while I while I do really wish I could uh, enjoy it, I'd, I'll have to be honest, I I don't. And uh, after a while, you know, particularly of oh my goodness, you can probably tell from the frustration in my voice as well that things like those birds that just relentlessly attack you, and which it's very it's very hard to avoid um and you know, it, you, know you, you you've got to manage ammunition oh no there we go again yeah you've got to manage your ammunition you've got to manage your uh you know uh, avoiding getting shot avoiding getting birds hit you and then you can manage to do all of that and still the predator will show up at random and that's it game over oh my now apparently um these different weapons that we pick up are supposedly they have different features, but I have to be honest, I don't, I don't really notice a great deal of difference. I mean, they look different um, in terms of the sort of graphics for the different guns, but I, find, I don't find that they actually behave any differently. Um, and again, it might just be uh, my, my my poor gameplay, and I'm not perhaps ex exploiting the uh, the abilities of the different weapons, but they just feel like guns, and you fire them, um, and that's it. <laughs> Uh, so yes, it's uh, yeah, hard work, definitely hard work, and and and, uh, and unfortunately, hard work without much of a payoff because ultimately, as I say, you can you can try your absolute best and uh, still end up dying. <laughs> so um, I think, to be honest with you, I'm going to have to leave it there because uh, I'm I'm not getting a huge amount of entertainment out of playing this. Um, it's uh, it's it's just as I remember it as a child, frustrating. Um, a game that has so much promise, but yet ultimately it just it just isn't that playable. Um, so I've brought it in at number 70 because it is a, you know incredibly well constructed and coded game. It's you know graphically speaking brilliant, um, and of course being based on a film that I love, uh, I, I you know I couldn't bring it in too low, but unfortunately the gameplay does ultimately really let it down. 
So I'm going to leave it there. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. And um, I'm going to sign off uh, by handing over to Mr. Schwarzenegger himself. Goodbye. Get to the chopper!